Hello friends, DK this side. Now the week has ended and we will do the technical analysis of the US stock market. The US stock market is extremely bullish. All the indices like S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index are trading at all-time high, quite in vicinity of the all-time high. There is a breakout of the rounding pattern, so there is a possibility of a further upside move. So friends, don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. Let us straight away go to the price chart to begin our technical analysis, understand the price action, mark the support and resistance level that might be respected by the market in the upcoming day. Let us begin with the S&P 500 index. This is the weekly price chart. This index in the last week ended at 5,088.79. Thereby, it was bullish by 1.66% on a week-to-week -week basis. If you look at the candle of the last week, it is a bullish engulfing candle. An earlier all-time high was here and now there is a breakout of a very major breakout of a rounding pattern. So there is a lot of upside move possible in S&P 500 index. Let me superimpose some of the technical studies. If you look at here, it was trading in a rising price channel. Upper fiber was acting as a resistance while lower fiber was acting as a support. Now there is a breakout of this rising price channel as well, which means there is a sign of a price expansion in S&P 500. Now, if we calculate the target on the basis of this rounding pattern breakout, this is the rounding pattern which gave a breakout over here. So, if we measure the depth and project on upside, its first target comes at 5743 and currently it trades only at 5088. So, there is a lot of upside cushion possible in this particular index. Now, look at the closely the price action. Based on the price action, what we can see in the prior week, there was a resistance. This was the resistance and this was the resistance on the final verdict basis. So 5026 becomes a very good support in S&P 500. Now 5000 is a psychological level. So we can conclude that 5000 to 5026 is possible area of demand uh, whenever a correction takes place we might expect the buying forthcoming in S&P 500 in this demand area. Now let us straight away go to the daily price chart. This is the daily price chart what we can see market structure is higher highs and higher lows so it is trading in a, a markup phase of the market. Now this was the area of consolidation where the price was trading in a range. Now, this range has given a breakout in the last week precisely on 22nd of February and it seems to be breakaway gap because area of resistance has been taken out with a breakaway opening in the market. Now, based on the price action, if you look at the prior impulsive wave, this is the well-defined impulsive wave and if we calculate the target using the Fibonacci expansion tool, the first target of 5105 that was discussed in the last week has been achieved. Now there is some loss of upside momentum because the price has attained the target and the price is little overextended from EMA 21. So the possibility of correction cannot be ruled out. However, next obvious target would be 161.8% expansion level which comes at 5182 with regard with respect to this particular impulsive wave. So overall structure is bullish as we discuss the little long term target uh, in the weekly price chart and this is the possible supply area uh, which might be there in the upcoming week in S&P 500. Let us now straight away go to the price chart of NASDAQ 100.
Now we are referring to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 index in weekly time frame. This index closed in the last week at 17,937.61 and thereby it was bullish by 1.42% on a week to week basis. Now look at the candlestick pattern. It is also a bullish engulfing kind of candlestick pattern in the last week. Now the trend is so strong that for past several weeks the price has not even tested the EMA 21 or volume weighted average uh, 21 period. This was the all time high earlier it made in November 2021 and now it has given a breakout of this important level. So there is a breakout of a rounding pattern here too in NASDAQ 100. Now coming back to the further price action. This is the breakout of the rounding pattern. So if we calculate the target based on this pattern, the next target comes at 21,821. So there is a lot of cushion because currently NASDAQ 100 is trading at 17,937. So this is a little long term target. So what could be the possibility in the upcoming week? Let us see and analyze it. If you see here very closely, the price is facing some kind of resistance since past three weeks over here. But based on the price action, this important area where the price got rejected, if you see the spinning top kind of formation with a large upper shadow uh, and this got formed uh, during the week that is started on 22nd of January. So this area is an area of registers. So 17,700 becomes a very good support in uh, NASDAQ 100. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action. Uh, this is the daily price chart. What we can see over here, this is the well-defined impulsive wave in NASDAQ 100. And this was the corrective wave. Now the price has bounced back from this important area after having support, uh, taken support at uh, uh, vicinity of EMA 21 and volume weighted moving average. In the process, what has happened? there is a formation of a gap. This entire gap area will act as a good support. So even if there is a, some deeper correction, the gap exists at 17,482, which will provide the final support to NASDAQ 100. And little above is the uh, EMA 21 and uh, volume weighted moving average. But the possibility of filling this gap may not be there simply because this seems to be breakaway gap in NASDAQ 100 with substantial rise in the volume. So based on the price action, this is an impulsive wave and this is the corrective wave. So this is nothing but the breakout of a bullish flag. So if we calculate the target on the basis of breakout of a bullish flag, the price is facing resistance at around 61.8% uh, expansion level. However, once this level uh, which exists at 18,041 is taken out, next possible target could be to 100% expansion which exists at around 18,400. These are the short term target. Long term target we have already discussed in the weekly price chart and overall structure is looking extremely bullish. Now there is another possibility. If the price has started correcting during the last trading session of the last week, there could be a formation of a cup and handle kind of price pattern. This is the cup and probably this is under the formation of a handle. Once this cup and handle pattern gives a breakout, then also the target will come first target at 18,400. Then it has a potential to go up to 18,655. So overall trend remains bullish. Short term trend, intermediate trend, long term trend remains bullish in S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100. Now let us move to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Friends, do not forget to like this video. This is the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index in weekly time frame. This index in the last week closed at 39,131.54 and thereby it was bullish by 1.3% on a week to week basis. Earlier, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index made an all time high over here at 36,952.65 in January 2022. So here too, there is a breakout of a rounding pattern, which is a very powerful pattern. If we calculate the target uh, and measuring the depth of this uh, rounding pattern and project on upside, the first target comes at 41,919. 
So there is a possibility of a very major upside move in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. Look at this trend line. This is a very important trend line. Price has taken support, price has taken support, price has taken support. So this trend line has a multiple touch points, which means this trend line is as if now acting as a dynamic support. Now, if you see here with respect to the prior impulsive wave, there is a breakout of a bullish flag kind of structure. And this is a gap away uh, candle, the breakaway gap candle. So there is a breakaway gap even in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. If you further look at the price action, the price was consolidating in a zone. It is a box kind of a structure it has formed. So if you calculate the target using the Fibonacci expansion tool, the first target here got achieved, which we discussed in the last week at 39,200. So the next possible move could be to 39,500 level. Where will be a support? The gap edges at 38,618. This is the gap which it has formed uh, and it has formed on uh, 22nd February. So this gap will provide a good support to Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. But based on the price action, even this area had a resistance and this is the breakaway gap. So even 38,700 is also a good support. So overall structure is looking bullish even in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. In the last week's video, we checked the market sentiment of fear or greed index with respect to S&P 500 index and it was in a greed zone and its reading was 70. Has it changed over the past week? Let us check it out. Currently it reads at 78. That means it has now entered into extreme greed zone. Since it is a cyclic phenomenon, it travels from extreme fear to extreme greed, then come back to fear or extreme fear zone. So we might see a possibility of some kind of correction in the US stock market. What do you think whether the levels discussed in this video, will it be respected by the US stock market in the upcoming week? I'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you. Very, very